Oh, PC smoker back again. <coughs> and and first video here, I'm smoking my Tinsky Bulldog. And then I got some Oswald's chocolate cream. Mm. And what I'm planning on doing as soon as I get done with this video is got to study for that test to retake the um, final so I can save some money on my tuition and then also since the humidity has gone be able, to be able to walk up the windows and turn off the air conditioner about a few days before I turn back on again so right now the dew point is about 50, yes, 59 degrees and there is a wind blowing supposed to get around 60 so mm. the air conditioner will love it as well as my checking account <laughs> I'm yet seen fault on electric bill yet so I don't want to know what it is anyway the purpose for this video is something I want to get to about a month ago but I still got sidetracked by other people make suggestions so since the new people are here and watch me bring out small steps and see what they can do with it as far as video response is concerned and this one is was set was done by the wandering recluse about almost two months ago and he posed a question which is what Pipe smoking smoker archetype would you be? Would you always want to dream of being? And then, in reality, what type of pipe smoker are you? And how you want to be portrayed by people in reality? So, here's my here's my answer to both questions. Um. I, I never dreamt on what type of pipe smoker I want to be when I first started. Even when I started at 12. And, um, I mean, I've seen a lot of people, you know, smoking around me teachers, the barber, and a few other people. But I never pictured myself. Thinking of what I fantasize myself into being, and of course, you know, I mean, starting at twelve, um, probably the most likely person to be a tween smoker would be Huckleberry Finn, because we're both about the right age, and even though he's fictional, he um. Grew up in Hannibal, Missouri, which is about you know, 180, 190 miles west of here. And so that's about the uh, same as we have. Just, we're both tweens, and we both start, and we both smoke pipes at 12. And that's where it ends right there because on the one hand, he hates school, I like school. Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> and what do I call him? Well, streetwise person. Of course, in that, in the, in this, in that setting, be more like a river wise person. Me, I'm not. I don't, I don't like to um, frolic around or sit by, you sit by the brook, watch the waters flow by. I'm just more like a bookworm. I want to study, 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 learn, learn, learn. And Huck Finn never wanted to be, wanted to learn anything. And I always wanted to have his shoes off. I want the shoes on. So, outside of that, you know, I never picture myself on being a fantasy pipe smoker. 
I just delve into what uh, other pipe smokers are, which is smart and good nature. That's about it, really. Now, the type of now, as far as how I want people to perceive me as a pipe smoker, when I do smoke my pipe on public, either when I'm driving around town or um, when I go home, which, which I usually do. Well, only twice a year now. Um, I just the only thing I want to convey is just hey, you know, I'm just a pipe smoker, and that's it. You know, nothing, nothing fancy or anything like that. Even though some of my pipes are sometimes. Fancy and sometimes a kind of standard, but I just want to say that you know, say that people, you know, I'm just a pipe smoker, and that's it. And of course, you know, they see me walking around. Well, that might be a whole different story because you know, I don't want to get some sort of impression that you know, here's a big and tall guy um, smoking. A pipe that should be meant used for um, blowing bubbles. I mean, I'm not talking about a pipe this big. Maybe talking about a pipe about that big, which probably get around that much around my index and thumb. I just kind of like people. You know, when people see me, you know, well, I can say, "Hey." Here's this big, big tall dude, and he's smoking a pipe that's just the size. And what I'm trying, and hopefully what I'm trying to convey is, you know, the way I can convey to other pipe smokers that is, they are scarlet. That they've been to school, that they've been to college, like I have, and they're wise for the years. <laughs> On that point, oh, I'm I'm a scholar. I got a bachelor's degree. That's wise, wise for my years. <sighs> well, I'm going back to school again. It's beyond me, but, um, you know, it's just, that's kind of, I mean, outside of that part, um, that's probably what I want to convey to other people, it's, you know, uh, I'm scholarly, scholarly, and I just enjoy smoking a pipe. Um, I might even want to convert this to the other, other one, I mean, how I convey myself as a Cigar smoker. Um, usually, if I'm smoking a cigar, you know, it's usually if I'm also driving around town and all that. And usually, if I'm on a long trip from point A to point B, and it lasts by me about more than three hours, you know, but the same thing, I want to say, you know, I'm a smoking a cigar, or saying it's pipe. You no, know, I'm smoking it, so there, and that's it. And to me, I'm a pipe smoker and a cigar smoker, even though I do get pleasure from both the smell and all that. You know, it does it does convey you know different meanings. Like I said, that's one of the meanings when you're more educated, and with a cigar, it's more like you're either top of the world. Or 
you're out there to stomp some ass. One or the other. So that's kind of all I want people to perceive me when I smoke my pipe is that I'm just very well educated and very well mannered, very likable, approachable, and all that. So that's how I want to convey to other people why I really am through the pipe. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. Hopefully that answers the question what type of archetype I fantasize on being and why I really want to project to other people. So if you have want to respond to this question, um, like Sean said, just go ahead and make a video out of it and we'll see what you have to say. So until next time, keep the home brands burning. I'll see you next time. I gotta go study.